Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are on episodes 25 and 26 of my Amphibia Reaction series. These episodes are called Croak and Punishment and Trip to the Archives. And let's get watching. Beautiful. Uh, pretty. Yup. And you know who's gonna love it? Ivy! Tomorrow's her birthday, and this is the perfect gift. My heart! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just gonna leave that there? Someone's yeah. gonna steal it. Good no, call. they won't. This is Wartwood, Anne. Um, have we forgotten everything that happened with the mega? But never mind that. Look, the blue moon shell, right where I left it. <laughs> wait, 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 what? It's shell! <laughs> The shell's not here! Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, that's just wax yarn. They sell it at the Grub and Go. Well then, let's Grub and Go there to catch our thief! <laughs> <laughs> nice. So you're a marathon runner, eh? Well, maybe this will jog your memory. Jelly stain <laughs> box was found at the scene of the crime. Amphibia is giving major interdimensional cable vibes in some of these episodes lately. Nice little place you got here. Business good? Um, actually, we're having kind of a rough season. Good, good. We're here about a <laughs> shell that got misplaced. I'm not generally a mad kid, Anne. You gotta dig deep, dude. Think about what that thief took from you. Your shell. Your gift! Your future with oh. Ivy! We're finding it now! Hey, you little noodle! This blue shell! You've seen it? Yes! Yes! I remember now! Out there! Late morning! Great! Keep the change, kid. Actually, you're short. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right. Same drill. I'm surprised you didn't whip out an IOU. Although, was that the episode with the spider shed? Because... Pretty sure she learned her lesson, actually. Not my favorite apron. Spoke no. spray. Oh, here. There. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Sir, please help me. Just let it happen, Toadie. Dude, there's no one here. I know. I'm just fired up, Ben. <laughs> you were right. This town is a dirty oh, cesspool of ice. No. Gunther, who's that? He just moved to Wartwood. Lives out in the woods. Seem nice. Mm. A little too nice. My bet is still on the cashier. Yeah, Sprig, I don't think we should... Sprig! Because he said they were having a rough season. So maybe he stole the shell to keep business alive to sell it? Hey, we're just a couple of curious kiddos knocking on doors and saying hello. Well, isn't that <laughs> nice? Yeah, so just wondering, what brings you here to work with? <laughs> well, that I'm worm? from down <laughs> south, but I had to leave. Oh, Is it here? Hey! Or maybe here. Stop there! Where are you hiding it? Get gross. out of my house! Uh, Sprig? Why is he changing color? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, there they are. <laughs> <laughs> he said, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Why is that kind of stuff so funny to me? Toady, buddy. Gunther, wait. I shouldn't have accused you like that. Is he gonna prove what he did to that pumpkin monster? I don't really monster? know you, and you've never given me any reason not to trust you. I guess I just popped to conclusions. <laughs> I wanted you to have these. We ate most of them, but there's like three left. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sorry about that. What does Anne Ooh, look like with that mustache? Actually, that's licorice. I feel like she looks like a Gravity Falls character. Maybe someone from Star. Uh, oh, man, that guy was hard to lose. I don't oh. believe this. And we've lovingly placed the leaves and the branch back in our hair. Ivy? I came by earlier, but I couldn't find you. But I did find this sweet blue moon shell. And you took it? <laughs> yeah. It was a little dirty, but I took it home and polished it up. Here's it back. Uh, no way. I kind of like it here. When I see it sparkle, I know I'm getting close to your place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, out. I am man, it is me. She didn't just steal the shell. She stole my heart. 
It's definitely not out of the ordinary for me to say that I didn't see something coming in a show. I feel like I say that a lot, but I really did not see that coming. <laughs> My bet was on the grab and hop, grub and go. What did they call it at the beginning? On the shop cashier, because he was saying that they had a rough season, things weren't going so well at the store. So I thought maybe he stole it and sold it in order to keep the business alive. But. He was our red herring. Well, he was my red herring anyway. I have to say, I'm a little surprised that Anne chose Sprague to be the bad cop because I feel like if you reversed those roles and Sprague was good cop, Anne was bad cop, they would make a really good team. <laughs> Sprig is such an all or nothing character. I feel like he goes all out, he commits to the bit. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know how many of you watch New Girl, when Winston would pull a prank and it was either too small or way too big. That is what Sprig's bad cop reminded me of. <laughs> too big, Sprig! Winston! And now let's get watching A Trip to the Archives. Busy! Remember, gang, the mountain pass will clear up in one week, meaning it's almost time to leave this valley and find Anne a way home. Woo! Love that. I am gassed. Let's go. We'll never get Anne home if we get bitten to death by a venomous snake fly, or eaten to death by a camouflage sod skink, or crushed to death by a sand liger. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Enough death already. Sheesh. I'm beginning to think you guys are obsessed. It's like a library for my world. Zoo books and manga, here I come. And I'm yeah! Time <laughs> to hit manga. the book. Wait, wouldn't we be better off preparing by diving headfirst into deadly situations? Huh, yeah, maybe Sprig's right, Hop Pop. No, 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 I wanna go to the archives. It opens when the sun rises and deadlocks when the sun sets. That is some steampunky nonsense, right there. Yeah. <laughs> ah, book smelling like Yes. Yeah. Was turned into the public archives after he died violently attempting to travel beyond the valley. I'm gonna go hit this book. Looks like we better get to it. Get my hands on those books. Anne. Yes, Berg. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better if we found some plants to fight? Nope. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> the lens is missing. What? Who would trap us in here? <clears throat> Maybe you somebody is trying to prepare us. Uh, hmm. I know I have it. Somewhere. <gasps> well, that's not good. Uh, Sprig! Uh, maybe uh, I can fix it. <laughs> so what do we do? Well, we wait for someone to visit the archives. I checked the logs and it says, three years ago. innocently as butterflies dance around her eyes. This gang has been through a lot, and we're gonna make it through this too. No, I mean, we better, Sprague, cause if we you don't, got us we'll into this here mess. for weeks. No food, no water, until they find our dehydrated, mummified bodies clawing at the door. I would be so mad. I should have thought of this sooner. can't fit through though. What? Your head is the biggest part of you. Oh. Bessie, get oh. help! Get <laughs> help! Come on, girl! No, no, no! Bessie, get... No! Oh, come on! Never mind. Bessie, a snail after my own heart. We can do anything! <laughs> I'm seriously stuck! No, no you're something. not! I got you this! can definitely <laughs> the other way! <laughs> What's that sound? Uh, it's cicadas coming out to graze. The cicadas, oh, like little cute cicadas, or like oh my gosh, that's huge! No! 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 I'm not good. I'm not good. Oh I'm not good. Oh my god! <laughs> this building used to be someone's home, which means there was a bathroom. Ah, good thinking, Sprig. Bathroom? Now? Can't you just hold it? <laughs> <laughs> there was a bathroom. That also means there were pipes. <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> we couldn't wait, so we took the pipes too. I 
seen things. So? We did it! We dove into another adventure and escaped! I told you it would work! I've seen things. Just things. Well, was this the episode filled with amphibia lore that I was hoping for? No. Could Anne have easily escaped by pulling her body the rest of the way through that skylight? Yes. But you know what else happened in this episode? We got to see Bessie. And honestly, that's all I really need from an episode of this show. There was a line that Anne said towards the beginning, something about... You guys, I don't know if you can hear this or not. There was a car alarm that was just blaring for like the past maybe three minutes. So I sat here and waited to continue with my review. The second that car alarm stopped, there's an ambulance that's going by. Some filming days are easier than others, truly. Anyways, back to what I was saying. There was a line that Anne said towards the beginning of the episode, something about, y'all talk about death so much, I'm starting to think that you're obsessed. That just hit a little different. And I don't know if that's just because I know that this show gets dark. That's the only thing I do know. I don't know specifics. I just know from things I've seen online and also people who suggested this show for the poll that Amphibia takes a pretty dark turn, which I'm really looking forward to. But whenever Anne said that, I was like, was that? Is that? foreshadowing? I know we're not quite to the more canon heavy lore episodes yet, but this season is coming to a close. The mountain is clearing. Anne is ready to go on this adventure to try and see if she can find a way home. I think things are going to start to pick up. I was kind of waiting to see if there would be a better question for the comment section in this episode, but I'm going to take it back to last episode and ask, would you play good cop or bad cop? I would love if I could just whip out some kind of mean streak and, well, you know, huh, I was gonna say, I think it's fairly obvious that I would be good cop, but I'll tell you what, when people act some type of way on the plane and I have to lay down the law, I can, I can reach inside me and find that place. But the thing is, I don't, I don't like being that person. I like being good cop. I just imagine myself bringing in a plate of cookies to the person I'm interrogating. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think I'm good cop. And that is my final answer. Let me know yours in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full-length reactions, early release to my videos, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.